So Dean, another game, another three points, how did you find it? Um, I think they made it difficult for us um, the first half. We were just sloppy and not play our top of ten, didn't bring us enough quality in the first half. And then um, eventually we got Nicky on, got steady in the ten, steady can run beyond a little bit better than, than, than Brunty and, and Chappers. And uh, I thought we just penetrated them more and fully deserved that victory. Yeah, it seems like a matter of when, not if, when that first goal was going to come. So what was it about the patience that sort of built up to that moment? We just, we just so sloppy first half. Uh, Chappers kept turning the ball over, giving it away, which is not like him. Um, no real penetration. Again. We didn't run forward well enough. Our first touch wasn't forward. We were thinking backwards and safe. And it reminded me a little bit the other night, in the second half, of all the shot. But I just thought, when I got in the half time, I said to the players, we had a little bit of luck as well, to be fair, but they possibly could have had a penalty. So I had a half chance. Um, I just said to the players, just stay patient, get your first touch forward, make sure you think forward before you do anything. And uh, run forward without the ball and our local capsules, and they did that better second half. Yeah, with a lot of the possession as well, Fald weren't really able to test Nick Hayes as probably as much as they wanted to. Would you put that down to the possession and the way of playing, just potentially maybe not crit as much as they wanted going forward? Apart from us against Gator, we dominate possession in every game, to be honest with you. So we expect, we expect that from the team to come in here against us. I thought they tried to jump us a little bit, they sent the house with the jump on tens, and then our movement in the front line wasn't good enough. But then when Nicky came on, he just pulled on the shoulder, turned over and played hard, and played a really little pass, and Nicky's then rent the goal and then hurt him. So, just a natural centre forward. Look, what I didn't want to do today is I didn't start Nicky because he played 90 today and he should have never played Nicky. He wasn't meant to do that. So I just got to wrap him up a little bit. Hopefully now he's come through this okay. He'll get a full week's training next week going into Boston and uh, we'll get, get him rolling again. It's three and three for him. So it's really positive. Obviously, you just mentioned Nicky having three and three as well. How key is he going to be for the rest of the season if he can stay fit and within the team? He's a huge player for us. Um, I think he got 20 odd goals last year and I expect him to probably do the same again this year. So uh, just getting back, getting fit, getting sharper. We've just got to make sure that we don't, we, we don't injure him. Um, so I don't want to play him as long as I play him in January, but that's where we are at the minute. So um, instead, he's done a good job for us up there in temporary charges and leading the line. So, but we've got a lot of strength and depth. We see the subs we made today. We see the players we're bringing on. Coker comes on, does a reliable job for us. After, uh, the same with Idris, it's a similar scenario with Idris. Um, uh, he's been out a long time, he's come back, and you don't want to just keep playing and flogging him and get injured again. So we're lucky we've got that strength and depth in our squad. Five wins in a row, six at home. What's the confidence like, I guess, amongst the, the team and, and the rest of the club right now? Yeah, it's a huge part of football. And obviously, we created that. But when you're creating something, it's very, it's very easy to disrupt it. So we, it's my job to make sure that creation stays around the camp. And uh, we've got to keep stepping forward, keep on one game at a time, keep showing the opposition respect, and uh, make sure we keep it to our standards. Um, second half, we are more like ourselves. Uh, we knew we'd wear them down. First half, sloppy, really sloppy. So, and second half today, we were sloppy as well. But we'll uh, we'll put all the shot. But we're not giving up many chances now, which is very, very positive. We haven't really given up a lot of chances all season, but the last two games, we, we gave up, last three games, really, we gave up very limited chances against all the opposition, so that's a very positive sign. Just on the fans as well, obviously, with a ticket promotion for this game, 2,500 here this afternoon, their support, I, I, I can say, was, was good today. How much would you like that support to continue for the rest of the season? That's what we want. We want the place buzzing, get down the high view. It's a great facility. Um, and we see we've got some real loyal supporters as well. We need the new generation supporters to come, come support us. We play good football, we score a lot of goals, so we're entertaining to watch, so please may they keep coming. Boston at home next weekend, what's going into that one? Yeah, look, recover uh, next two days, the lads will have tomorrow off, uh, recover Monday, uh, intense session on Tuesday, Wednesday off, Tuesday, Friday, uh, prepare for Boston like we always do. But I was impressed with them because I watched them against Aldershot uh, a few weeks ago. And when I was researching all the shots, I thought they were very good, very intense without the ball. I thought they were good in possession as well, so I'm not sure how they got on today. So, like I say, we'll do our judging and uh, see how we get on. Thank you, Tom. Cheers.